Welcome back, I'm Nicole VW, and this is a tutorial for mob grinding utils. So we are very familiar with this mod, or you may be if you play Skyblocks and have mob farms, uh, you will already know about the absorption hopper and how you can adjust where you would like uh, the items or the fluid outlets to be located. You can also show the area, move it around, uh, up, down, uh, and have the area adjusted for that. Uh, it will pick up the items. It will pick up XP on your mob farms. Uh, you can also use that for regular crop farms as well. Next, we have the Mob Masher. Uh, this is a, a great item to use to kill the mobs. All you need is a redstone signal, uh, like a lever to turn it on. Uh, there are upgrades, which we will talk about later. If you don't want that, there are also iron spikes, which will kill the mobs for you. And it will allow mob drops and XP as well. Here we have an ender inhibitor. It's active or you can turn it inactive. Uh, while it's active, it will prevent endermen from teleporting. So it's a good place to have uh, around your mob farm so endermen aren't teleporting other places around your base. To move the mobs around, you we have fans. Again, there are upgrades. You can also show the area of how far it will push items. Just give it a redstone signal like a lever to turn it on. Uh, and I will show you the different upgrades in a little bit of what you can do. Also with this pack, there is tinted glass. This is wither proof and it will keep the area dark. There is also dreadful dirt that you can create and I will show you how to do that a little bit later on. I have tinted glass over it because during the daytime, if it is open to the sunlight, it will burn. So make sure that you have that covered. Next up, we have delightful dirt. Uh, this dirt will spawn passive, uh, peaceful mobs like cows, chickens, etc. I have a lantern on it so that nothing will spawn. Otherwise, uh, it will continue to spawn peaceful mobs. Uh, I will also show you how to create that here in a little bit. Uh, this mod also has a dark oak stone block that is only available in creative mode uh, to be able to build with. Along with ways to uh, push mobs around and kill mobs, we also have tanks to collect the, X the liquid XP that comes from killing them. There is an XP drain a singularity tank that you can stand on and it will extract the XP from you into the tank. The XP tap is a way to get the XP out of the tanks. You just turn it on and off and uh, you can get your XP back from that. Uh, there's also a jumbo tank, which stores over a thousand buckets of liquid. So you can use that if you have a massive farm. Uh, there is solid XP, which you can make from, uh, let's see if we do recipe, you can use jelly babies to make this. It is, let's see if I can get up here. It's awfully silly. It, it's bouncy and has its own little sound effect. It's 
uh, pretty interesting. So the way to make the jelly babies is, uh, let's grab a bucket of liquid XP, which you can get just using a bucket on your tanks. We will go ahead and put some XP in there. You'll need to make an XP a solidifier. Make sure you have the XP mold, which you can make from a blank mold which you can create from a XP bucket and gold nuggets. Uh, you'll need to make sure you put that in there, turn it on and set which side you would like it to export out to. So for right now, it's being exported out to the drawer. Uh, with this, you can also add speed upgrades to there. I believe five speed upgrades. If we look up here, uh, I believe five is the, the max we can do. So let's grab five. Let's put a little bit more. Okay, it's completely filled. I guess six. I'm not sure what the max is. Let's grab a stack. Nine. It looks like nine is the max that you can do. Uh, next, we have these entity conveyor belts. The direction of the arrow is the direction it will push any entities or mobs. It will even push us. <laughs> That is one way you can use to push mobs around in your mob farm or push any other entities around your base that you need to. Uh, we also have a Wither Boss Death Muffler as well as an Ender Dragon de Death Muffler. You can also choose whether you want to hide the boss bar at the top. And if you notice down at the bottom, now hiding wither boss bars now showing so when the eyes are open it'll show the bar at the top of the screen if they have the sunglasses on it will not show the bar at the top of the screen now in order to get the peaceful grass you will need a golden egg and this golden egg will do a five by five uh, area in order to make the golden egg, you will need this nutritious chicken feed. So let me grab some of that. Uh, you will, to get hostile mobs, you'll need a rotten egg in which you will need this cursed chicken feed as well. And I can show you what happens when you click on a chicken with the feed. It will play a random sound, the chicken will explode and drop the egg. In order to make this, you will need any kind of seed and some food items as well as XP. Uh, for this one, you'll need mob drops with the seed and the XP. So you can make that. Uh, let's see, we'll do Yeah, so it just makes a random sound and you'll be able to do that. Now, there is a mob spawner, an entity spawner. This, you will need those XP jelly babies. There are upgrades that you can place in there and you will need an entity egg. In order to get the entity egg, you will need to have a mob swab. You will need to go swab a mob. Let's see if we can't get one, a mob to spawn here. Uh, this is the grass. Let's see. This does grow grass, which seems to hinder the spawning so let's go ahead and swab the cow we'll turn this back on 
to kill those guys. Uh, the grass that does grow will end up hindering the spawn uh, and how often things spawn. So you will need to take care of the grass and the flowers that grow. As you can see, we have our mob swab. You can see it contains Minecraft cow DNA. We will put that in a crafting table with XP and seeds, and we will get chicken feed with Minecraft cow. Let's go ahead and uh, put down another chicken, feed that, <laughs> and we will get a cow spawn egg. Uh, this, this cow spawn egg you can then place inside of the entity spawner at the top and use that to spawn more cows. I can show you how that works. Let me place that in there for a second. Let's go over here. Let me turn it back today so it's a little easier to see. Uh, down below I have fans pointing uh, towards the, the mob grinder to kill everything and then I have everything being deleted out of there. We have our entity spawner here with upgrades, so width and height upgrades as well as speed upgrades. We have jelly babies. We do not have an egg, uh, although we do have these chicken eggs. We can show the area and I have offset it so it's inside there but I still have access to it on the side. Let's hide the area. We'll go ahead and put a chicken, give it a redstone signal, and you can see there's a little 3D image of the item that, or the entity that we're spawning. If we come over here, I have a, uh, slime which I made earlier and a zombie villager let's test those out and you can see you'll have the little image there at the top of what it's going to spawn oh and I forgot to set it back to normal And there we go. And that's with all of the speed upgrades. If we take those out, it's definitely slower. So with the different mod uh, mods that you have in your pack, you may not be able to use each of the mods uh, available but as you see over here there is the uh, cursed earth or the rotten earth this uh, stuff dreadful dirt <laughs> and we have delightful dirt I have farms already set up here uh, this shows over here with the delightful dirt we can see that I have maxed out all of the upgrades that we possibly can. So we have sharpness, looting, fire, smite, arthropods, and beheading. Uh, I also have it uh, with a redstone signal underneath. I have a fan in the back that has a width modifier uh, and it's a max of three. So instead of just the one, it'll go out three more on each side and go six forward. And then I have this one that pushes everything towards the corner where the mob grinder is. 
Over here, we have the Dreadful Dirt. I have the inhibitor along this side. If we take a look, there's one fan that's doing the majority. I only have this fan up here because I was having sp uh, spiders spawn up here climbing the walls and they weren't getting pushed. So I have this one up here. If we show the area, it's only doing that top row. So if they get stuck on the top, it will push it forward. Otherwise, you only need the one fan to push all three levels. I also, because of the types of mod, mobs that are in this pack, I had to have fans pointing down and uh, I have uh, the max upgrades for width and uh, distance. So it'll push the, mo the flying mobs down faster and kill them. Uh, this absorption hopper, I have upgraded radius, so it'll pick up all of the items. And I also have it offset, so if we show the area, uh, it goes back. I don't need it that far, but I needed the width uh, on the side. Probably two is too many, uh, but that's fine. It shows that I can pick up things from this whole area inside the yellow square. With the addition of the entity spawner, when you receive spawn eggs in a mod pack, you'll now be able to spawn those items as long as you have uh, the jelly babies for it. It is basically one spawn per jelly baby. Each jelly baby is made from one bucket of XP. So as long as you have a farm like this going, you should have enough XP to be able to run your, your farm spawning items that you wish. Most of us are familiar with the basics of this mod, uh, like the absorption hopper and the the mob masher and uh, as well as the fan but i think the addition of the witherproof tinted glass as well as the dreadful and delightful dirts are great additions as well as the entity spawner i think these will be getting used more often in mod packs and i can't wait to see how everyone's creations evolve using those items I hope you learned something from this tutorial. This is a wonderful mod and addition to any mod pack. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.